Welcome to the city of the future, where traffic flows seamlessly, where cars are fully networked, and all are zero emission. It's a green and tranquil place. This is a vision of the year 2028. Früher fuhren alle Autos mit Benzin. Oh. Du warst ja steinreich. <lacht> Schön wär's. Benzin war damals gar nicht so teuer. Heute suche ich den Wagen aus. Okay? But the vision is still a long way from becoming reality. Experts warn that the shift to greener forms of mobility needs to gain momentum. Around 7 billion people now live on the planet, and everyone wants to be mobile. Cities are reaching the breaking point. I think cars with combustion engines will be having a hard time in cities in the next few decades. There will be increasing moves towards banning cars with combustion engines. Or it will be made so expensive that it becomes extremely unattractive, and that will create a market for zero emissions vehicles, in other words, for electric cars. Major German car makers are keen to show their green credentials and commitment to sustainability. But there's still no sign of an electric car entering mass production. Other nations are leading the way. The pressure is now coming from Asia because the Chinese car industry is aiming to leapfrog the combustion engine and move straight to non-fossil fuel engines. Asian countries want to fast forward to electrically powered mobility. Cars that run on solar power and are recharged via electricity grids. And cities where traffic moves efficiently and without accidents. They're ideas that architects are developing for German car makers. Biatka Ingels believes that in the cities of the future we won't drive cars ourselves, we'll be driven around by them. You go into the car and you tell it where you want to go. Then it knows where it's going and it's going to tell uh, the city mainframe where it's going. So the city can calculate, ah, we have this many people going in this place. So it can actually send the cars in the optimal route, uh, not only for the shortest distance, because if the shortest distance is full of traffic, it'll, it'll be able to uh, sort of deliver the traffic in the smartest way. So almost like a delta, you can, uh, you can really optimize the capacity of the city. One click and your car is ordered. This car uses GPS and laser technology to find the passenger. Another futuristic vision that seems technologically feasible today and is being explored by a Berlin University team. Many experts see driverless vehicles as the next step in the evolution of driver assistance systems which already help drivers handle their vehicles more safely. In the future, cars will move in convoys. We'll no longer be able to afford personal mobility. Companies like Daimler are trying to keep pace, for instance, with car share schemes. The new generation of urban dwellers want to use cars, not own them. But what does this mean for car enthusiasts? I can imagine there'll be recreation areas for cars. Race tracks will open up on the weekends for private car enthusiasts. They'll meet and drive around and hold races with one another. But for day-to-day -day urban living, the private car is on its way out. Hey, wow! Owning a car could become a thing of the past. But car makers hope that people will continue to enjoy driving in the future too.